Hello there, I'm Barry Robinson for Scarborough TV News. Now, here we are, this young man is Steve Flint. You are the editor of the Railway Modeler, which is a marvellous railway magazine. Yes, it's uh, the number one model railway magazine in, in the UK, and, and it's been going since 1949. I've only been edited for the last two or ten years, though. I'm not that old. But, but my uh, railway and interest in model railways began in Scarborough because I'm a Scarborough lad myself. I was born so many years ago, I don't really want to admit it, but uh, Scarborough Hospital... And I happen to know you are a little bit younger than me. Uh, that's... It, never. Probably about 20 then. years. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Inderwell School and lived on Seema Road opposite the railway sheds where my father was a fireman. So, you know, it's in the blood. A and true Scarborough lad. Aye. Unfortunately, sadly, I left the town in 1967 because my dad had to move out to Hull and uh, it's taken me all this time to come back. But the lads here at the Scarborough Club said, why don't you come back and celebrate with us our 40th anniversary exhibition, which is what I did. And that's why I'm here with the magazine. What a fantastic magazine it is as well. Thank so you very much. if nobody has seen the railway modeler, what would they find? find if they bought a copy and had a look? Well if they, fi if they buy a copy they will find some, some of the really magnificent model railways from all around the country uh, which we feature sort of at the front of the magazine, you know, the, the, really, the really wow uh, layouts and then we do beginners uh, type uh, articles for people just starting out in the hobby so, so it's for everybody whether you're an experienced um, railway modeler to start with or somebody who's just interested in, in making a start and there's quite a lot of people here I've been speaking to who are very keen uh, about making a start. And you can buy the railway modeler in any decent news agents? Uh, any uh, any decent news agents, WH Smith and uh, Tesco and Asda, you should be able to get a copy in there. How much does it cost? Uh, it's a mere £4.60 and it's uh, there's over 100 pages of editorial, so it's, it's jolly good value for It's every money. month as well. Once a month, yes, yeah, that's right. I remember, because right. I used to read this a lot, good. when my dad was alive, he was really into model trains. Of course, Railway Modeler was number one. And it still is. It still yes, is. We had our yeah. ABC figures. Uh, Certified only uh, about two months ago. Yeah. You're still number one, yes. Marvellous. Absolutely. It's fantastic. Yeah. Now, have you got a website? We are. Pico Publications is the website, but it's being rebuilt at the moment, so we can't really say go to www. But if you Google or whatever search engine you want to use, uh, Railway Modeler magazine, it'll come up at number one, so you'll be able to find out all about it. Well, it's a pleasure talking to you, Steve. And you. Yeah. And you, Barry. Thanks yes. for having me. All right, excellent. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm Barry Robinson, out and about in Scarborough with the editor of the Railway Modeler, Steve Flint, for Scarborough TV News.